Wake up. What about you is so special? That's the conversation of today. See, listen, all of us out there feel like we have this ability. We have something special about us. God has appointed us to do something better. And that may be true. But right now, in an environment, in a world that is fueled by competition and currency, what sets you apart? What makes a person want to buy from you? What makes a person want to partner with you? I want to talk to you today about the characteristics of a successful person, the characteristics of a winning person. Number one is courage. Every single day, a successful person has the courage to go out there and do just a little bit more than the average person, right? Most people have their emotions too tied up in the result that they never actually take action. See, successful people, we understand that when the activity is right, the results got to follow. Right. So number one is courage every single day. Get up and just do it and just pound the pavement, pound the wall, mess up, fail fast. If you don't just fail halfway, get scraped up because the reality of it is you're learning, you're failing forward. So embrace your process. Because at the end of the day, you're going to have to go through it anyways. So the longer you take, the longer you take. So just go through it really, really quickly. And I promise you, it's going to be okay. You get off the call. You say, dang, I really messed that up, right? You go, you try to get somebody in your business. They don't join you. Dang, I really messed that up. But this is what I learned. It doesn't matter, but have the courage to keep going. Secondly, purpose, 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 purpose. People don't buy what you're doing. They buy why are you doing it? It's not about the rank. It's not about the product. It's not about the service. It's not about the money you're making, right? It's about why you are doing it. People don't buy products and services. They buy people and they buy emotions. Get a person familiar with your brand, right? When you think of Coca-Cola, you know what they what they represent. When you think of McDonald's, when you think of Wells Fargo, right? right? It's more than just a logo and a slogan. It is a brand. It is a purpose. It is a movement, right? So get people familiar with why you're doing it. And that's something that you're going to have to dig deep in and you're going to have to figure that out for you. But thirdly, consistency is attractive, ladies and gentlemen. I can't tell you how many people that have, you know, waited five months, three months, six months, came back full circle to join me or partner with me in business. You know why? Because every time they look up, I'm doing the same thing. I'm consistent. Consistency is attractive. So, Whatever it is that you're doing, be consistent. Here's the thing. No one person is consistent in every area of their life, but it's okay. You don't have to be a jack of all trades. You can find one thing that you do really, really well, maybe two, but one thing you do really, really well and get better and better and better at producing results, get better at learning. Here's the thing. Don't bring the 2010 you into the 2020. No one wants to partner with someone that is not willing to evolve. So just because what you were doing was working two years ago, you know, continue to grow, continue to get better, to continue to get stronger, get smarter, have more to bring to the table. So when that person that can bring value to you evaluates you as if they want to be in business with you, you can say, hey, listen, I'm evolving. Here's my results. I'm consistent. I have courage. Right. That makes a person want to be partner with you. Number four is produce. No way around it. You need to produce. You need to get results, period. Don't be one of those people that, you know, you're going nowhere fast. You look, you know, you're on the treadmill. You didn't ran two miles and you get off the, the treadmill expecting to be in a different place. No, there's a difference between being productive and being active. Just because you're active doesn't mean you're being productive. At the end of the day, one of the characteristics of a winning person is their ability to produce results, period. Now, number five is prospecting, continuously prospecting every time you can. Listen, we are very familiar with big brands, right? We're familiar with Mercedes Benz. We're familiar with Wells Fargo. We are familiar with McDonald's. Why are they continuously marketing to us? Because they want to make sure that when you decide you want a car, you go to Mercedes. When you decide that you want a bank account, you go to Wells Fargo. When you decide that you're hungry, you take a stroll down the street to McDonald's. That's the thing. Brand recognition, 
People are not just going to naturally remember what you have going on. You need to stay consistent. If you're on social media, consistently posting. Post whatever product you have, whatever service you have. Talk about it. Share testimonies, right? That's the thing. People need to know that you exist and they need to be reminded that you exist. And every single day, right, the lifeblood of your business is your ability to continuously bring in new customers. But the only way for you to be able to do that is for you to consistently advertise every single day and get better at your prospecting, right? Get better at your videos, get better at your pictures, get better at your content every single day. And people, this is the thing, people don't join for perfection, they join for progress. So as long as you're moving forward, people will find that attractive and they'll wanna be a part of or support what you have going on. So listen, it's been a vibe. I hope this helps you guys. Daryl Drake here. At the end of the day, consistency wins. Stop hopping around. Just stay consistent with one thing. Get better. And guess what? Energy is everything. It's a vibe. Peace.